This is the World Adventurers Club, an organization of adventurers, explorers, and soldiers of fortune. We bring to you hair-raising and breathtaking tales of exploits come from strange lands among strange people. The meeting is now opened with a number by the quartet. What's that light that is beckoning? Oh, through the night it is beckoning. Oh, come, 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 take your new day of reckoning. What new fire is in throwing you? Oh, so of rush that is calling you. From on up the hill of hope and glory, follow, follow the flame. Gentlemen, tonight we take you to the land of tragic darkness, Russia. Our guide will be a much publicized and vilified soldier, scholar, and exiled patriot. His tale will amaze you. I present Sergius Kornilov. Welcome to our mystery. Bravo, greetings. Gentlemen, it is my pleasure to bring to you tonight the amazing lowdown on the evil genius of Russia. You refer to the late assassinated Tsar? No. To Rasputin, the charlatan, the ex-convict and fraud who had been flung out of the monastery at Odessa. Give us, Give us a fact. Yeah, I want the story. Gentlemen, gentlemen, come to order. Let him speak. And my friends, I'm going to take you through the most exciting chapter in the history of all Russia. Once again, you will hear the Tsar speak. I will bring to you the energetic voice of the Tsarina and also the hypnotic words of deceit from out of the mouth of the holy devil Rasputin who completely dominated this luckless royal couple and their family. Right, right. Let's all be quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Continue, right. General Kornilov. Yes. I was attached to the Imperial Guard, being constantly in attendance on His Royal Highness. It is evening. Dusk has thrown queer shadows about the Royal Gardens at Petrograd, and I am summoned to appear before His Majesty. I have just entered the room where he stands alone, his face drawn. He looks troubled. He speaks. General Kornilov, why has the East Palace Gate Guard been doubled, contrary to my orders? Orders of the head of the secret police, Your Majesty. And why is the Palace Guard changed every half hour? Advance information warns of a horde of peasants coming from the south, headed by Rasputin, the devil. Stop! Cease your vilification of this holy man. It is my hope that his footsteps are directed here to attend my son, the Tsarevich. He has had another hemorrhage. Too bad, Your Excellency. But your safety against this so-called monk is the first consideration. The first consideration is the health of my darling Alexis. Even though all Imperial Russia be sacrificed. Your Majesty, even a mother's heartbeats must be tuned to the affairs of state. This Rasputin is really heading a widespread revolt by peasants. The Grand Duchess Olga has seen him, talked with him. She has seen his miracles. All his predictions come true. He must be permitted to come here to treat my baby. I shall order you imprisoned if the guard is not removed from the gates and this holy man permitted to enter to me. I shall accept the penalties that you threaten, but it is too late. If Rasputin advances to the gate, he will be taken into custody. So the secret police has ordered. You are a soldier, first, last, and always. You rule by the sword. It is of you, I am thinking. The bleeding of the Zarevich must be cured. Eminent physicians have failed. Dreams I have had urge me to see this monk, Rasputin. Gladly I'd give my life for your son, Your Excellency. But give up this idea of letting this licentious adventurer come into your presence. Must I get on my bended knees? I, the imperial ruler of all Russia, and plead for my son? Remove the guards. I refuse. Do what you will. Your Majesty, if Rasputin succeeds in gaining an audience with you, it is predicted that before many moons, the house of Romanov will fall, that this horde of avenging peasants will mill throughout the land. The Babel will bathe in their own blood in the streets of Petrograd. You should be shot, General Kornilov. Nicholas, you must order his arrest. Kornilov! Remove the guard from the gates, I tell you. I have no power. Listen, that ominous chant. The peasants are advancing on the palace. Thank God your soldiers are loyal. If my son dies, Kornilov, your life will be forfeited. Even though he dies, 
your majesties will live and all Russia will be saved. That chant, it grows louder. Rasputin comes. He'll never pass the gates. He'll die like a dog if he attempts it. If God has answered my prayers, this holy man will come to me in spite of all. If your prayers bring him here, it means the end of us all. But I am depending on the soldiers. And we are depending on God. If Rasputin passes the guard, it is a miracle. Kondilov, open the porch door. Hey, Rasputin, I'm here. The miracle has happened. Rasputin. I am here. Across the winsome and breath of all Russia, I heard your call. I am here, your majesties. Take me to your ailing son. Thank God. Come enough. Ring for the servants. Holy man, we are grateful. My son, the Zarevich, is close to death. All doctors have failed. Your son will live. Take me to him. This way, holy man. Here he is. See how still he lies. Pray. All of you pray. God, Rasputin the holy monk speaks. Bring health and strength to this sick child. Let the bleeding stop. If you want a life, Instead of his, take mine. Amen. The bleeding has stopped. A miracle. Holy man, you have saved him. Look, Nicholas, our son smiles. Holy man, you must never leave us. You must remain here always. Here, in the palace. Kill me, if you will. Order me imprisoned, banish me to Siberia. But I cannot stand here and see you imposed upon by this magician and his bag of tricks. The bleeding had already stopped. Silence, Kornilov. You are dismissed. Be gone. And tell the secret police that there is a greater power than the soldiery of Russia. The power of a holy man, Rasputin. Yes, the miracle worker. Very well, I'll go. But it is the end. Mark my words, your majesties. It is the end. Forgive him, holy man. Promise that you will stay here with us until our son recovers fully. Promise you will never leave him. The best of everything shall be yours. Your word will be our law. Command us. Promise you will stay. Yes, promise. Imperial Russia calls you. I promise. I stay. Heaven has called me to you. I am destined to protect you all. If I should leave, disaster would fall upon you, upon the house of Romanov. Bless you all. Bless you all. Zarina, one year has passed. Conditions are horrible. We are at war. The peasant plot of Rasputin is succeeding. He waits to deliver Russia into the hands of a foreign power. That is not so. He is the spiritual guide and protector of Russia, sent by the Almighty. He's a devil. His weekly seances with his so-called sister disciples bring ugly rumors of scandal to your very doorsteps. Rumors fostered by his enemies, jealous of his divine power. His power at the imperial court since the Tsar left for the front is bringing unrest to the soldiery. They're on the verge of revolt. I shall hold you responsible for discipline. But Rasputin, through you, countermands my orders. Part of his plot. When the Tsar returns from Skov, you shall be banished. The Tsar, I'm afraid, will never return. He will be forced to abdicate. You frighten me. Where is Rasputin? I am so desolate without him. I will ring for him. He shall hear you. He's a puppet for a foreign power ready to sacrifice Russia. You rang, Your Majesty. Send the holy monk to me. He has left the palace in answer to a note. Good. You may go, David. General Kornilov, are you plotting with Prince Yusinov against Rasputin? Yes. We're trying to save you from yourself. 
Rasputin is being lured to the basement of the prince's palace. Poisoned wine will be fed him, and if he survives that, the pistol will be brought into play. You shall die for this, for he is invulnerable. He will live to see you executed. He is a holy man. And if he survives the pistol, he will be stabbed through the body until he's dead. His remains will be buried and hurled into the river Neva. He will float out to sea, face down. You are a traitor! That devil Rasputin must die! Russia must be freed of this monk and scoundrel! Listen! The chant of the peasants, the same as the night he came to us. But this time, he is going. Don't go near the window, your highness. It is revolution. Rasputin must be dead. The peasant plot has succeeded. The palace is being attacked. We are lost. General, we are indebted to you. It was thrilling. Uh, thank you. Of course, the world knows the end of it all. Uh, Rasputin's plot succeeded just on the eve of his death. The Tsar and his family were assassinated. Revolution after revolution followed. Bloody warfare came. Overthrow of government. Intrigue. And one does not know where it will end for Russia. Maybe the five-year plan will be the solution. Maybe, but after six years of it, still is in the pattern. Well, <laughs> we should worry about Russia. Adventurers Club bid you au revoir, hoping to meet you all here again to take you on another journey to a strange land in a strange adventure. <laughs>